Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today, a fun little lip gloss review. We are going to talk about the brand new Bubble Pop Electric Lip Gloss from Give by Gwen Stefani. This is the latest release in the Give line, um, and we haven't had a lip gloss from them before. We started with a bunch of really deep, matte, really, reds. Um, there was that Anaheim Shine, which is a little bit, it kind of still matte, but a little bit more, and then we branched out into some pinks and some neutrals, and now we have the lip glosses. So I want to talk about them, and um, because I have quite a few of them, well, I have three of them, it's a few, um, we'll do a little bit of a montage try-on as well, although you're getting a preview because I am wearing one now. Okay, so the Give Bubble Pop Electric Lip Gloss comes in five shades and is $20 each. I purchased three of the five because I just couldn't decide. Uh, they are High Shine Cream Formula Lip Gloss. So they are very um, kind of sticky. I hate to use the word sticky because that sounds like such a negative term. Uh, sticky is never really generally something we use to mean something positive. Um, but what I mean is they have a real kind of traditional retro lip gloss feel. Yes, the kind that your hair would get stuck in if you were in the wind. Um, but a lot of people, um, including me, I'm starting to appreciate that more. A lot of people really like that in a lip gloss. The price point of $20 isn't bad for high-end makeup, which is what Gwen Stefani is giving us. Um, and the scent, most lip glosses do have a scent, is like sugar. Yeah, it smells like sugar cotton candy or even ice cream, the sugar base for an ice cream. I want to say vanilla, but it's really not vanilla. It is sugary. It doesn't really stay though. So if that's something you don't like, that's super sweet. It's kind of a really super sweet scent, but it does go away once it's on the lips. Um, in today's video, we'll be trying them on completely alone. I like to do that for first impressions, but please know that I have had these for a few days and they do layer beautifully over lipstick or lip liner and my favorite way to wear a gloss is a little bit of lip liner even just on the outside of the lip and then a nice kind of neutral pinky gloss um so the three shades i got were dolled up which is this really light pink you're going to see it in the demo um candy a little bit of a purpley lavender and then um, all my love which kind of gets a little bit more red let's see if we can get a good swatch on these babies i don't really know if lip glosses swatch that well ah, not bad not bad there is dolled up not bad we got a pretty good swatch there and i'll take it outside too for you guys to take a look at here is candy um, this one is also pink, but um, I don't know if you could tell. You'll tell when I take it outside. This one definitely kind of can go a little bit lavender, if you can see that there. And I know this one is going to show this next one. Here is All My Love, which we get a little bit rarer. And of course, everything has No Doubt and Gwen Stefani references, No Doubt being her, her first band that she was in. So those are, uh, there are those three. They actually swatch pretty well. They have a nice... A nice consistency and a nice amount of pigment to them. Let's take that same arm and that same me outside into the warm, oh gosh, hot California sunshine so you can take a look at those on my arm and see what you think. This High Shine Cream Formula has, like I said, a nice amount of pigment and I am going to show you me trying all three of them on right now. in a lip gloss. Do you like a real sheer gloss or do you like one like this which actually has more pigment than I thought? Do you look for a dry type of gloss? Do you look for one that feels like a balm? Feels like a cream kind of like these? Many of you will ask me how does this compare to something like uh, Victoria Beckham? Well Victoria Beckham glosses feel a little bit thicker, more cushiony. These are definitely a little bit thinner, highly pigmented but stickier. So these are more like a candy gloss. 
They smell sweet. They're sticky sweet. Um, so they are do not really compare. They do not compare to Pat McGrath glasses, which are actually quite smoother. They're not, Pat McGrath glasses aren't thick, but they're smoother. These are much more tacky, not like tacky, like no taste, <laughs> but tacky, uh, sticky. Um, I'm trying to think what I can compare these to, and we have our community going here. So if you have a good comparison and you've tried these, throw it in comments if I miss it. Um, it is, no, I think it's kind of in a league of its own, um, but it's a very retro, almost 70s, 80s lip gloss. It is not a lip oil uh, like the uh, Lady Gaga House Labs. It's a great, but it's an oil. This is definitely a retro gloss and it's a really fun one. The colors are super pretty and those pinks are feel a little bit retro too, almost bubblegum type. Really pretty. So let me know if you are interested in these and what you think of the Give line. Remember that's G-X-V-E, how Gwen Stefani signs her autographs, G with a little kiss X. Um, so tell me what you guys think of the line in general. Their lip products and eyeliners are really getting a lot of acclaim. It looks like they're really doing that right. And I really enjoy these for that retro lip gloss experience. Let me know your thoughts. Did you pick one up? What do you look for in a lip gloss? Tell us all everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, do make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that I can see all of you in an upcoming video. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram and on TikTok too. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.